guys, today I'm gonna show you how I made my Elastigirl wig as well as how I did her makeup. I just got this wig in the whale. The bag came ripped, so I'm gonna have to find a new bag for it. As you can see, this wig is really long and it's also wavy. I'm definitely going to have to cut it shorter. I'm looking at the top now and I can see here. Right here, there's a weird kind of spot in the part where it doesn't quite cover all of the wefts. I think that won't be much of a problem, although we'll see when it gets to that. All right, so the first thing to do is to put the wig on. Like I put the wig cap on and suddenly now I'm, oh my God. I can do a Loki cosplay. <laughs> Comment if you want me to do a Loki cosplay. Oh, there's a lot of hair in this wig. This wig is a lot brighter than I thought it was. It's like Little Mermaid. I'm brushing out the wig using a plastic tooth comb because this reduces the amount of breakage in the wig. Elastigirl's hair goes from this side, not this side. But the way that the wefts on this wig are done, I can't actually move it over. So I'm wondering if I can just get away with, let's see if I can. In order to move the part from this side to this side, I've just gone ahead and rotated the whole wig. At the moment, it's not the nicest looking solution, but since I'm going to be styling and redoing the entire wig anyway, I think it's fine. Before I start with any uh, serious styling of the wig, I need to figure out what kind of heat this wig can take. I've turned my flat iron on to its lowest setting, and I'm going to test that on the very ends of the hair. Let's hope this doesn't melt. actually seems I'm gonna do a bigger chunk to see what that does but that looks like it worked pretty well yeah that works I'm gonna go ahead and straighten the whole wig oh, hot 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 I'm about halfway done now and you can really see the change in movement. I'm actually surprised that it's taking so well to the heat considering how cheap it was. I think it was about 10 pounds that I paid for this, but it's really soft and silky and... I guess it's worth the 10 pounds. I straightened out the wig and now I'm Mary Jane from Spider-Man. Which, although fun, is not our end goal. The version of Elastigirl that I'm doing is the one from Incredibles 2. So I'm going to want to cut this wig shoulder length. However, um, I've always found it's best to cut a wig longer than you need it. So I'm going to start by cutting it here and seeing how it goes. The ends were still kind of curly on some pieces, but that's fine because I didn't need it anyway. Now I'm just gonna sort of go around my head and even out this bottom line. that went right down my shirt. I found the easiest way to get the back of my head by myself is to sort of turn your head as far as you can, take these two fingers, slide it to the bottom, and then pull that around so you can see it and sort of straighten it out in relation to a part that you've already cut. Black Widow hair. I'm just slowly working my way through all of the characters with this wig. For Elastigirl's hair, I'm gonna go a little bit more natural with her look instead of having that really cartoon looking swoop at the back of her head. This is just a personal preference thing and what I want is for the bottoms of these hair to have a slight curve inward. This wig holds heat for a very long time so if I just try and curl it with the straightener it doesn't work. It falls out pretty much immediately. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hair, heat it up really hot, and then wrap it around 
this. It's just sort of a container that I have. I think you could use a Pringles can and get a similar effect. Hold on. I'm just gonna work in kind of smallish sections. Heat it up. And wait for it to cool. And that gets me the curve that I want. So I'm just gonna continue to do that around the whole wig. I've just finished curling the ends of all of the hair. I find this actually lends a much more natural look to a straightened hairstyle. And in order for this to look elastigirl, I'm gonna keep this behind my ear and this out in front over my face. I realize this isn't exactly how her hair is in the films, but this is how I like it and how I've interpreted it to work in real life. The next thing I'm gonna do is the makeup, and I'm gonna go ahead and put on my full elastigirl outfit before I start on that. The reason I put the outfit on before I do the makeup is because this neckline is tight enough that it would smudge the makeup all the way down my face. Okay, let's get a little closer. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is put on my base. And when I put on my base, I'm going to want to put it here. But I can go ahead and avoid putting it around the eyes because that's where the mask will go. Once I've got my base done, I can move on to the blush. The blush I'm going to use is the Makeup Obsession Blush in the color Bloom. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just... I'm going to go ahead and trace the outline of my mask using an eyeliner brush and that same color of blush. Now that I know where I want my mask to go, I'm going to go ahead and apply face paint within these lines using a damp brush. I'm going to be using Snazaroo in Bright Red. The reason I'm using a brush and not a sponge to pick up the paint is because it makes for a much more precise drawing onto my face. I'm going to take the same col blush color from before and use it to set the body paint. In order to add a little bit more dimension and to make my eyes pop, I'm going to take a black eyeliner crayon. This one is the Estee Lauder Eye Pencil Duo, and I'm going to put that along my lower lash line. I'm also going to go ahead and apply it to my upper lash line as well. Now I'm going to take this black eyeliner and put it very lightly along the top edge of my top lash. The last thing I'm going to do for the eyes is to apply a black mascara. I'm going to use the Voluminous Million Lashes Excess. For the lips, I'm going to go with a sort of pinky color. I'm going to use this suspiciously unlabeled pink lipstick that I have. And there you have it! Elastigirl!